In the Halo universe, there are a lot of different races and species, but generally we have the Covenant and Humanity, which were for many years fighting and kind of just ripping each other to shreds, but uh, in the lore, it's obviously a bit different with Humanity just kind of getting a one-sided beatdown. The Banished, however, are a relatively new faction, but what makes them different is that they don't have a religious cause behind all of their work. They do not have a great journey. From what we can tell right now, it appears to be simply a lust and desire to build and have power. And that changes the tone of the games that we encounter because Previously, the Covenant had a religious goal to eliminate all humans. It was not any kind of inclusive uh, PC culture. It all boiled down to, are you a human? Yes or no? If you are, then you will die. And obviously, humanity had one or two things to say about that. That's why today, I wanted to answer the question on if humans are allowed to join the Banished, because the Covenant had a very strict no humans allowed policy on their clubhouse. But the Banished are a different story entirely, because their entire beginning was centered around a rebellion against the Covenant. They obviously had no love for it because of the suicide missions that Atriox was sent on with his brothers, and so it kind of comes back to the good old, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, or you would think so. Now this imagery here is very important, the idea of recruiting elites who are mercenaries to join his cause because he's not going to ignore potential soldiers, he's not going to turn down manpower that he can use to further the reach and the ability of the banished to conquer and continue to grow. So that's something that sets him apart from other brutes. It's not just simply having brutes at the figurehead. You can see also with what we know from Halo Infinite, having Jaeger Rodami as one of the Hand of Atriox, an elite. A race that you would think would have a lot of issues working with a brute, a member of the species that slaughtered your kind during the Great Schism. However, that's just how Atriox works. He does not deny people who have the power to give him what he wants, and that is exactly where we land with humans joining the Banished. Because, short answer? Yeah, it's possible for humans to join the Banished. But can I see that happening in this game? Not really. I can't see that happening for Halo Infinite, and I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why but first of all, let's go through the evidence. Why exactly would humans be allowed to join the Banished? Well, that's explained in the official Spartan Field Manual, and it has a couple of interesting things to say. I feel as if this short paragraph helps to clear up any confusion. The Banished are a multi-species alliance bound by the will of Atriox and a hunger for profit and power. In theory, all who can aid Atriox's ambition and will bend the knee are welcome, from human to hunter. But their violence and conditions of service limit recruitment opportunities. So from an official source, we know that he is seeking out human allies, but the question then goes to which humans? Because I certainly don't see the rest of humanity, and also by extension their military space program, the UNSC, bending the knee anytime soon. Which is why this second paragraph helps out a lot as well. So the Spartan Field Manual states that Atriox is reported to have led a fleet of Banished to an unknown destination, which is why we are seeing Eshram in Infinite's trailers and reveals so far not Atriox himself. But the chieftains he has organized and controlled continue to exert their influence over brute colonies and even into human criminal enterprises. So we wouldn't be seeing an army of humans to join the Banished, we're talking about criminals who may be looking for their own profit, their own gain, and they have no loyalty to the UNSC, people like insurgents. Now we know that the UNSC had a lot of trouble taking down the insurgents, that's the original plan for why the Spartans were created. 
So we know that Atriox is looking into those things. We don't have any confirmed reports on who exactly is working with them. And without anything specific, I doubt we're going to see it in game. On top of that, it's also something that wouldn't be very easy to balance when you're playing the campaign. You can't just attach one marine to every banished squad and then color him red and make him hostile because then that's just tacked on. For Halo Infinite, it might just become a little bit too much to have human rebels alongside also the banished and the Cortana created faction, whatever they decide to do with that. So because of those reasons, I think it may be a bit overwhelming to the player to have that many enemies and factions to fight against, and it may result in the game not being balanced properly. So for those reasons, I definitely don't see it happening in Halo Infinite, but it could happen in a future Halo game. I think I can kind of picture some human rebels uh, teasing and uh, making fun of some grunts or something, but when a brute chieftain walks around, he kind of brings them into heel and makes them start paying attention to their surroundings and looking out for any enemies. So I can definitely imagine that and I can see that it could work. But, like I said, I don't think we're going to be seeing that in Halo Infinite. But that's just my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I appreciate the support. Uh, lately guys, the steady growth has continued and the subscribers has been slowly getting there. One day, I, I might actually get paid for YouTube. <laughs> Who knows? You know what to do if you want to see more content like this. I think we'll call it at that for today. I've been Kiv. And I will see you all on the next one. 